Welcome back, folks. We're getting close to our main event here. Right now, we have Sagat facing Grizzlet from King of Fighters. And uh, Sagat is huge. He is. He's about seven foot two. Uh, unusually tall for somebody from Thailand, but you know he's big. He's beloved by the people of Thailand. And you know, last time he was assaulted by Seth after their match. So he's looking to take out some of his frustration on Grizzlet, one of Seth's henchmen. Is that the round tonight, Ray, or are we going to see him interfere again? Well, Seth is going to be in our main event when he faces Mike Hager in the final fight. No. I don't know that he's, uh, I don't know that he's going to be interfering in this match, but you can bet he's watching in the movies. If the boy starts getting into trouble, maybe he'll just run down here. Yeah, possibly. You know, we have yet to see Chrysler in an actual match. He'll be making his debut here. Wow. Uh, oh. This will be a pretty good match. This is the debut on SmackDown. Yeah, it sure is. Well, it? that is some outfit. Yeah, it's his, um... Well, you know, that's what he wears when you fight him in King of Fighters 99. Yeah, I know. Chrysler, he is an SNK boss. SNK bosses are known for being very cheap. Chrysler? Yeah. He's an SNK boss? What's that? Well, he's the final boss of an SNK video game. Oh, I see. And if yeah. Ever, um, you know, in SNK fighting games, the last bosses are usually incredibly cheap. You know, and you know, believe it or not, Crystal is not as cheap as some of the others. I mean, there was Ignis from King of Fighters 2001. He was super cheap. The guy in King of Fighters 11. Boy, don't get me started on him. Anyway, Skin the match. Uh, yeah, the match is getting started, and uh, boy, what a um, what a counter there by Crystal to start the match off. Boy, these, uh, these two must have played each other's perspective games a lot um, for this match. I mean, they seem to have each other scout out. Oh. They, they really seem to. No no warming up there or feeling each other out much here. This is all just straight action from the get-go. Yeah, just taking it right to each other. You can tell these guys don't like each other much. Well, it looks like Krizzla does have somebody in the corner. He has Balrog, and you might remember at the Royal Rumble, Balrog betrayed Sagat when uh, Seth formed I that. I do infection. remember that. Yeah, that was... I do remember that, Ray. That was awful. That was disgusting, and boy, they're going right for an else. Oh, no. Spilled my oh, cactus no. cooler. Ah, that's hard to come by, too, cactus cooler. Yeah, I know. It's um, hard to find in the grocery stores around here, and well, now it's splattered all over the floor. Now he's just chopping Crisler across the chest there. Oh, come on. Please, just get him away from my table. Yes, please. This is terrible. Well, they might get a 10 count of in here. That was, uh, what was he up to? Six? Yeah, he's about up to five or six. This there. Ref referee knows how to count that high? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's uh, not really been on this game tonight. Ray, somebody's paid this guy off. I think so. Either that or he is officially blind. I think either Seth or Team Canada paid him off. That's what I'm thinking, Ray. That seems like something that Steve Nash and those Canadians might do. Well, Steve Nash does have a lot of money to pay him off. And he does. I'm sure uh, Deadpool uh, makes plenty of money from the royalties from the comic books and the, the video games. games he's been in. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. So they would have money to pay him off. and you know, Seth Canadian looks, dollar is uh, a lot stronger than it has been in times past. Yeah, that's true. Or, you know, it could have been Seth. You know, he's... Uh, and Street Fighter 4, he's running some kind of um, arms network, you know, so I guess he makes a lot of money from that. You know, and we saw the referee sweeping. Uh, it might be a means of laundering money. Could be, you know, and we saw the referee sweeping the floor on the side there, so. I mean, if he has to be, do janitorial work on the side, you can't imagine he's, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and surprise, surprise, the referee's distracted. Yeah, he's uh, managed to get distracted by Balrog and... Looks like Sagat should have had that one. That was like a six count. Yeah, <laughs> at least. Oh, uh, boot to the head. I don't like where this is headed, Ray. Oh, but Sagat counters. Sagat really deserves better than this two-on-one match he's getting here. Yeah, that's essentially what it is. When oh, no, it. don't go out there. Don't go out there. Oh, he oh, tosses move. far on his side. Smart move by Sagat there. Balrog would have done the same if he could have. I think so, and you know you get rid of um, you Big get foot to the head. Yeah, you get rid of the guy causing the distractions. I think possibly we have a fair match now. Certainly more on the line, but I still don't trust the referee. So no, I don't blame you. And boy, this is turning into quite a brawl, just spilling outside of the ring here. 
Oh, STO now, are these wants guys going to be at WrestleMania, Ray? Well, Sagat, he's a... Uh, Sagat will be facing Seth in a tag team match. It'll be Seth and Barog versus Sagat. And, uh, you know, right as of right now, it's supposed to be Mike Hager. But, you know, oh, right through our announce table. Wow. There goes our table. But, you know, who knows what's going to happen in this next match between um, Seth and Mike Hager. So, I mean, you may need to find a new partner. And Chris Litt, I understand. That's a good point, that. Ray. Anything can happen in wrestling. Oh, Boy. on the cement. Yeah, right on that hard concrete. You know, uh, Chris Litt supposedly will be in the Money in the Bank match. How was that not a 10 count, Ray? I don't know. He's, they've been out of the ring for a while here. That was like a minute and a half. Yeah. Well, you know, he's just stalking him, waiting for him to get up. Oh, oh but he misses. He missed. Kind of grazed him. Yeah, kind of. I don't know what he was trying oh, to do even. Elbow to the head, yeah. I think he was going for some kind of diving move, but... Um, Perhaps a guess, weird uh, diving bulldog from the top rope. Yeah, it could have been, but Sagat kind of sensed him coming, and boy, now he's uh, back in complete control of the match here. Irish whip into the ropes. Fans are really getting into this one again. Yeah. You hear them stamping their feet. Yeah. Here's Litt throwing to the corner there. Sagat now setting him up on the top rope, looking to deal more damage. Oh, what a power oh. slam. Sagat's just a beast. Yeah, he sure is. Well, he's a world uh, world heavyweight champion material there. I think you think he, so, uh, Ray? I think he could challenge for the title pretty soon here. Wow. That is high praise coming from you. Indeed. Oh, drop kick to the yam bags. What a disgusting move by Chris Lee. You know, when I first entered wrestling, I uh, my first match was against a girl. Really? Yep. She's now my wife. Wow, well, I guess that worked out for you. Yeah, I guess so. Party time, Boku. Wow, how'd that match go? Well, I couldn't wrestle a girl, Ray, and so I kind of quit. Well, I guess if she's going to be your wife, you really don't want to wrestle your wife. No, oh, no, it's best not to, Black especially in front of her family. No, I guess that's not a good way to make an impression on the in-laws. No, a lot of them were from out of town. I hadn't met them. That would have been bad news, I think. Yeah, I guess that would have been pretty strange to them. A grizzly hits the back body drop. Yep, my manager brought me from the jungles of Norway here I'm to fine. wrestle her. Yeah, she was the champion of that promotion. They didn't have a Divas champion. She was just the regular champion. Wow, your wife must be pretty powerful. Remind me she not was to piss her time. Oh, knee to the head. She's got a vast array of finishing moves. Wow. Well, I'll try to stay on her good side. Yeah, watch out for that belly claw. Oh, boy, that sounds painful. Yep. Boy, he's uh, looking to deal more damage to Chris Lynn here. I'll throw him in the corner. Sagat's got him right where he wants him right now. I think so, and... <coughs> You know, with a ball. Oh, no, he's still roaming ringside. Out the corner. Oh. Oh. Shoulder first into the corner there. Oh, elbow to the small of the back. STO. Boy, look at him taking some time to pose for the audience there. There's a fan out there who is special, Ray. Yeah, I guess he thinks he's special. Maybe. I think know, it's like, a girl. Could be. Maybe it's a Sagat special lady. Who knows? Maybe. That would make sense then. Oh, what now do you think it was special, like uh, good special or short bus special? Well, I don't know. I mean, if you're short bus special, you know, I don't know if you want to make a sign about that, but you know, maybe it's some kind of group of um, ah. the uh, handicapped kids. You know, I mean, the WWE works with them and lets them come see shows for free. So, you know, maybe they're just happy about getting to see a free show. And they would feel special for that too. Maybe they're special in both ways. Oh, that's going to oh, do it, Ray. Oh, Tiger Buster. The Tiger that Buster was huge. Bison got. Wow, huge And despite move. what that sign said, that was wow. not match of the year. It Boy. was a good match, a good win for Sagat, but not match of the year and an inauspicious debut. Boy, what a what a great match for Sagat here. Boy, he's a... Uh, a lot of momentum heading into WrestleMania. He's able to overcome the interference from Paul Rogg. I think he's got WrestleMania in the bag. I think, you know, whoever his tag team partner ends up being, I think him and, uh, him and uh, his tag team partner are going to take out Seth. I will love to see that. I think Seth is doing it. Well, we're going to see Seth against Meg Hager next. And be sure to tune into that.